welcome to Toy Transformations! On today's video, we are going to do a super special and romantic transformation! We are going to transform our LOL dolls into a beautiful bride and a handsome groom! We are having an LOL wedding! This is going to be super fun and super sweet! But first, we are going to find out which dolls are we going to use! So come on, it's unboxing time! Here is the first LOL ball! We are going to remove the first layer so we can find the secret message! Let's see what message we got this time! Let's see, let's see! This one means sour paws! Here is the second layer! On this layer we are going to find the collectible sticker! This sticker says that our LOL doll can either cry, spit, tinkle or change color! That's super cool! Okay, we are removing the third layer now. Here we are going to find the first blind bag. Let's see what baby bottle we got. Um, look, we got a green bottle with a silver cap. It's time to remove our next layer. So we can take out the next blind bag. Okay, so now let's open it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, look, we got a pair of green shoes. They are super cute. Now here is the final layer! Let's take it off so we can take out our last blind bag! Let's see, let's see! What are we going to get? Um, it's the outfit! We got an awesome surf suit! Let's open the ball! Wow, it has so many things inside! Let's open this bag first! Oh, it's a doll! We got the super awesome surfer, babe! Look, here is the catalog! They are so cute! Please tell me in the comments how many dolls from series 1 do you already own? Now let's open this blind bag! Let's see! Oh, look! It's a super tiny green pacifier! This is super adorable! And now let's open the second LOL ball! This is also from series 1! We are removing the first layer to find the secret message! Um, this one means drama queen! Here on the second layer, we are going to find the collectible sticker. This sticker tells us that our LOL can either cry, spit, tinkle or change color. I love this! We are removing the next layer. Let's take it off and we are going to find this blind bag. So, let's open it to see the baby bottle. Um, wow! This one is a super shiny white bottle. We are almost done! Let's take out the next layer! And then, we are going to take out the next plant bag! And here it is! Let's see what's inside! Oh, it's a super cute pair of blue shoes! They look super girly! And here's the last layer! Here's also the bin that contains a blind bag! Let's take it out and we are going to open it! Let's see what we find! the outfit! Oh, wow, this outfit is a super adorable and sparkly dress! It's super pretty! It's time to open the bowl! It has so many things! Let's open this bag! Let's see! Wow, this is the beautiful Crystal Queen! She is super cute! I love her hair! Look, here's the catalog! I really like all these dolls! They all have awesome designs! I want to collect them all! Here's the last blind bag! Let's see! Oh, it's the accessory! We got a super cute tiara! Okay, so now that our dolls are all dressed, we are going to transform them into a beautiful bride and a handsome groom. We are going to model the outfit so Crystal Queen ends up looking like a charming groom. And then we are going to use Surfer Babe to transform her into a gorgeous bride. She is going to look stunning. Okay, so it's transformation time! We are going to start with Crystal Queen. We are going to cut off the ponytail very carefully so we can start modeling the hair. We are going to cover the hole with a piece of tape just like this so we can start adding the foam. We are going to add a piece of foam onto the head. We are going to cover the head just like this. We are going to make it look like a helmet. With the help of a modeling stick, we are going to add texture and dimension to the hair. We are also going to create the hairline. We want this groom to look really elegant. 
And for Surfer Babe, we are going to cover her head with a piece of foam. We are going to make long hair with a long braid to one side. Now, we are going to use this cute pearl headpiece to decorate her hair. She is going to look stunning. We created small foam strips that we are going to use as hair curls so she looks super beautiful. We are going to add them little by little. Make sure to attach them really good onto the hair. Now, back to the groom. With clay, we are going to start creating the pants. We are going to wrap it around the legs little by little, just like this. And for the top part of the suit, we are also going to start attaching small pieces of clay. And then we'll make it look super good with the help of a modeling stick. We made a small flat circle to create the top hat. We are going to attach it onto the head, just like this. We want him to look super fancy. And to complete the top hat, we created a foam that looks like a marshmallow. And we are going to attach it on the circle we attached before. This top hat is looking good, but now we are going to add a small ribbon all around it. Make sure to attach it really good so it won't fall off. With a tiny piece of clay and a modeling stick, we are going to create a super tiny bow tie for our fancy suit. This bow tie is looking super cute. It's time to attach it onto the neck just like this. Make sure to attach it really good so it looks super pretty and it won't fall off. Now it's time to complete the groom suit. So, for the bottom of the suit, we are going to attach clay on it. Make sure the clay fits perfectly on the groom's body, just like this. For the hat, it is important to stick it on a good place of the head so it looks good and it won't fall off. Now it's time to design the bride's dress. We are going to divide it in two parts. First, Put clay on top of her body from the shoulders to the belly and then continue with the bottom of it. For this part, try to design it like a skirt and wrap it around the legs. Attach another layer of clay just to give it more volume to the dress. It's gonna look pretty. For the groom, take a brown color and a thin brush to start painting the hair. Oh my god, his fiance will fall much more in love with him. It is the bride's turn. For her, we will also paint her hairstyle with a brown color. But let's add some golden highlights. I already hear the wedding bells ringing, don't you? Now it's time to paint the groom suit. What do you think about using the color gray? I really like it. And you? The bow tie will be painted black, so the groom looks more stylish. Be careful when painting it because his bow is super tiny, so make sure to make it look super pretty. We will also paint in black the hat, so in that way it combines with his bow and all of his suit. Finally, we will paint a last tiny detail to make it look like a shirt. The bride's dress should be painted all white. Make sure to cover every part of it so it looks super bright. Of course, our bride has to shine in this important day. So, add some diamonds to make her dress look super elegant and super chic. For the veil, we are going to use the tiara from the LOL Toast accessories and just attach a piece of cloth to it. The size of the cloth must be a little bit longer than the bride's face. Also, add another diamond on it so it looks super shiny. Grab another piece of transparent cloth and make some cuts to it. Then, glue it on the back part of the bride's dress. This way we create the tail. Jewelry is super basic for wedding days. In this case, we took a necklace from another LOL doll. Now, let's paint the necklace in silver paint. And then, we just paint over the bride's hand a little bracelet with the same color that we used for the necklace. Also, we just add some gray details on the groom's hat. He looks really handsome. Remember, we have been using black for every accessory that the groom wears. We will do the same with his shoes so he looks even more elegant. As the bride's dress is so long, we'll just paint her feet white. Let's paint a white bouquet over the groom's suit. Oh, it looks super cute! Finally, let's add a coat of clear nail polish on the eyes to give him a shiny look. And this is how our groom was made. Doesn't he look perfectly in love and also super excited for his wedding? Oh, I'm sure his fiance will say yes as soon as she sees him. Good job, guys!
For the final details, we also have to add a coat of clear nail polish on the bride's eyes. This way they will look super shiny. Wow, she really looks amazing! This is the most important day of her life! Look at all the little gorgeous details we added! She is the most beautiful bride! We did an awesome job with this transformation! Now, let the wedding begin! Here are the beautiful bride and the handsome groom ready to get married! This is how we end today's transformation! And we have to let them hurry up and live a happily ever after! Both look super in love and very fancy! So, if you had fun, please give us a like and leave us a comment down below telling us what transformation do you want to see next? Also, please subscribe and ring the bell so you can see more awesome videos! Don't miss any toy transformations! Thank you for watching and see you on the next video! Bye bye bye!